Stand on your word. I stand on your promise. Hello and God bless you all today. Pastor Orlando here with today's word for today, which is titled Increasing Faith. Our scripture reading is found in Philippians chapter 3, verse 14, and it reads. I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Today's daily power reads, Dear Lord, this is my prayer. Give me opportunity today to share my faith for your glory. Our devotional reads, If we have no real faith, reading the Bible produces it. If we have some faith, we get more the same way. We don't acquire faith first and bring it into Scripture. Scripture encourages faith. Faith comes by hearing the Word of God. Many who don't believe don't read the Bible. They are sick and leave the medicine with the bottle tightly corked. People without faith should be warned that if they open the Bible, they are likely to finish up as believers. The Bible brings us to the cross. People do not start moving mountains until they've been to Mount Calvary. They couldn't move even a molehill or a mole. Real faith doesn't start at the university, but we'll have less if we go there without any. If we have not been to where Christ saves, not even a doctor of theology will do. The starting pistol is fired at the green hill far away outside the city wall. From there we tread on and on towards the mark of the high calling of God in Christ. Walking in doubt is like going back to a Victorian London peace super fog. We need radar. A faith provides it in this world of uncertainty. The righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith as it is written, The just shall live by faith. Believe God. It is life's greatest adventure. The scripture says, And the apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. So the Lord said, If you have faith as a mustard seed, you can say to this mulberry tree, Be pulled up by the roots and be planted in the sea, and it would obey you. I want to offer knowledge and experience across the area of faith as widely as I can. Whether people are well along the road or just beginning or haven't even started, I want to come alongside them and share treasures with them I have collected over a lifetime. And as you grow in your walk with the Lord, I want you to go and do the same. Your faith is too precious to hide. Share it as often as you can and show it by the way you live today and every day. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father God, we just thank you for sending your son to die on the cross, Lord. So, and so Lord, that we can receive your undeserving grace and mercy, Father. We thank you for the measure of faith you have given us, Father. Use us today. And Father God, increase our faith. Give us that desire to read your word more, to search you in the scriptures and in our hearts, Father God, so that we can apply what we uh, learn, Lord, to our daily lives, Lord, and share it with the world that is so lost, Father God. Lord, we want that the, when the world sees us, Lord, they see Jesus Christ, Father, and all that we say and all that we do, Father. Bless us today and use us, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, I want to thank you all today for watching our video. If you haven't done so yet, please click on the subscribe button and join our community. Also, turn on the notifications so you can be notified of when we go live. I encourage you today to be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. God bless.